Welcome to another showcase video. Today I'm going to talk about multi detection. Before, if you want to have multiple detection, then the recommended way was to put them into a group, but that's not so intuitive. With the new version, it's never been easier. Open the app menu and you can see the new multi detection action. Let's take a look at the condition tab. Here, you can see we can add a single detection. The core idea is to combine multiple detection into one, hence multi detection. There's a new logical group as well, but I will talk about that later. To say every one time, I'm going to just use the live capture. I'm going to change the description so you will have easier time recognize this. So this is home. Store. Uh, forum. Finally, news. Let's take a look at the condition drop down here. Here you can see the condition is all detection success, which means all four of these must appear for on success to run. In order to know if it's success or not, I will add some post message to it. So I'm gonna add system those message is a string success some way for the those message to complete. And I'm gonna do the same for fail. Right, so let's test this. It says success. So if one of these buttons does not appear, then it should say fail. I'm gonna do this for example to cover this harm button. Now it should say fail. There you go. There are the conditions as well. For example, one detection success, which means as long as one of these success, then the whole detection success. The other condition is pretty self explanatory. So you can try it on your own. Let's take a look here. You can see we have an option to disable short circuit. And what's that, you might ask? For example, with the one detection success, if the harm detection success, then there's no need to check for the rest. So it will short circuit and jump right into on success. If you select this option, short circuit here, disable short circuit, then that behavior is disabled, which means even if we know that the detection has been success, it will still run the rest of the detection. This is useful if you want to know if there's a more success detection in the chain. Okay, so this is a very basic condition. What if you want a more complex condition? That is where you will use the logical group. So let's add one. Here you can see the logical group is pretty much the same as the condition tab. In fact, the condition tab is just one logical group. Right, so for example, I can do this. I'm gonna put harm and store into this logical loop, set this to one success, and I'm gonna do the same. Uh, put forum menus news in, I'm gonna set this to all detection success. So, what I have here is a more complex logic. In this, it requires one of these two harm or star to success in order for this group to success. And the same goes for this forum or news must success for this group to success. And the whole thing requires the two groups to success. 
So I just make the logic for home or store and forum or news, right? Because you can put a logical group into another logical group. In this way, you can make a more and even more complex logic or condition, right? So the possible a possibility is limitless, alright? So that's it for this tab. Let's move on to the general tab. Here you can change some description, right? In the file option, we have the timeout and the scan rate same as before. We're missing the timeout option and the mean score option because each of these detection already have its own score. Okay. Right. Then we have some action to do. This is just some quick action that you can do. For example, the default is to do nothing. But you can select click on success. Quick click any detection that is success. Or you can click on the first success, last success. Or you can swipe from all the success. Uh, let me de demonstrate that. Let's try this out. So you can have easier time with this. So for example, if I select click on success, then this condition require all of these for to success. So the action will click on all four of these, right? But if I select click first success, then it will click on home. If I select click last success, then obviously it will click on news. Right, so for swipe success, it will swipe from home to start to forum into news, and the same thing for swipe success, reverse the same thing but done in reverse order. Right, right, you here you might wondering what if you want to click on the store instead? So you have the option to click on all of them the first one, the last one, but what if you want to click on store or even forum? So that's what you want to do is set this to nothing and implement your own custom action inside the on success here or even on fail. For example, if you want to click, you can just add a click here, select detection, and you can select the uh, star, right? That's it. This will click on the star if the detection success. Or you can click on the forum, right? The same goes if this Y action swipe for to all the success detection, which means from home to start to forum into news. What if you only want to start and forum? Then you can do the same thing. But you at the Y, right? You can config a finger. These are the two points. So the first point, I'm going to set to star. The second point, I'm going to set to forum, right? If you wish, you can add another point. This time, I'm going to swipe to home, for example, whatever you like. So that's it for the swipe. On the side now, if the condition here is one detection success, it means only one of these success and all success will run. But here, how do you know which one has success? It could be home, star, forum, or news, right? So what you can do is you can check a detection afterwards by using this condition, right? Add a condition and you can select a detection and for example star so what you have is star success so you can do just thing in on show over here or you can do other thing like if news right if news success you do something or you can add even more logic like uh, right if star success and news success you do different things with it for example, that's written much it for the multi-detection. 
the core idea is you put multiple single detection into one and select the correct condition the condition that you want right then apply the action that you want or if you if this doesn't have the action that you want then you can implement it in here on success or on fail and the rest is the same as single detection all right so if you have any question then leave them in the comment or discord and i will see you guys in the next video